energy in your battery. It's not recharging your battery. Instead, it's much more efficient to maintain it at a low energy level. This way, on a full tank of 9.3 gallons of gas, you continue on driving for 344 additional miles. Now, a lot of people will ask me, what if I want to take both on a cross-country trip and I can't find somewhere to plug in? Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, you simply fill it up with gas. It has a generator on board. It's creating internal electricity and you continue on driving for 344 additional miles. Not to mention, you never have to worry about being distracted by a depleted battery. Now, another common question we get is, what is the difference between a Volt and a Prius? A Prius, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call a parallel hybrid. The gas engine is powering the wheels, as is the electric motor. In the Chevrolet Volt, the electric motor is always powering the wheels of the vehicle. Now, Volt was originally unveiled as a concept back in 2007 at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Now, you can tell by looking at this vehicle, it's both beautiful as well as efficient. Now, GM engineers and design teams have spent hundreds of hours in the wind tunnel with Volt, testing and refining this technology, making sure that this vehicle would reach that range of 25 to 50 miles without burning any gas or producing any emissions. What they came up with was one of the most aerodynamically efficient designs in GM's history. They got so let's there. talk about recharging. Now there are two ways to go about doing so. The first one is right here in our trunk. It's what we call our 120 volt charging unit. It comes with the car, as you can see here, stores in the trunk so you can take it along on the road with you. This plugs into the side of your car and the other end right here, right at home to your common 120 volt outlet. This is going to take about 10 to 12 hours to get a full charge. Now if you need a charge quicker, don't worry, we have options. You can purchase our 240 volt charging unit. Now this is going to take about four hours to get a full charge. About three to four to be honest with you ladies and gentlemen, but keep in mind it does have to remain stationary within your home. Now that I've shown you how to charge the bolt, you're probably wondering what this is going to do to your electric bill. And I'm happy to tell you on a national average, it's about $1.50 a charge. That's right ladies and gentlemen, $1.50.